Hey folks, um, this is Nate coming at you on a Sunday afternoon. So this is um, part two of my Saturday mail call. And today, um, I just want to review for you real quick the CC Sabres Grandmaster, which is the um, obviously the Yoga Hilt. Um, Matt uh, over at Bobby Sabres and more installed this for me with um, Profi and NeoPixel and um, created a custom blade for me, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this is a, I think I mentioned it in my last, my first video, but I forget what size blade this was. I want to say it's a 28 inch or a 30, I forget which. Um, oh, it's even smaller than that. So this is a 24 inch blade. Um, it's normal functioning NeoPixel blade, um, just like all the others. And um, so I'm going to go over real quick um, just how this sounds, how this feels. Um, you know, at first glance, when I first opened it and pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh, this is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, but that's fine. I mean, it's a yoga hilt, you know, yoga is a, is a small character. Um, but holding it, it's actually, you know, it's not that bad at all. Um, I had no problems hitting the, um, the power aux buttons um, and just sort of moving it around. It's definitely a functional saber. Um, it's not just a novelty. You know, this is, this is as functional a saber as, as you know, my other full-size ones, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let me, um, let me show you all. Uh, the internals real quick so this just screws off in the back and then he's got the uh, then this chassis it's a fully removable chassis with the pin set up top and then this has a kill switch here And then um, the only thing um, Matt was showing me in his explained video, which, which um, I have to be aware of, is that when you put the chassis back in, um, you just have to make sure and align these lights as best you can with the, with the, um, with the switches. And because the switches are sort of clear plastic and the light will shine through, um, it's easy to tell when you, when you've lined them up, you know, because the you get you know, the light coming in. But other than that, there's no real indexing requirements. So even if it's slightly you know, slightly off, it'll 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 still go because the um, the switch pad. I don't know if you can see it. Well, actually, I'll turn the light off so you can see it a little easier. So these connecting pads here are actually, they're fairly, um, you know, they're fairly big. And the way he constructed the chassis is that there's a lot of space on that, on the, around it. So that even if it's like, you know, like a fraction of a millimeter off kilter, it'll still, it'll still connect. Um, so there's, point being is that there's a lot of forgiveness. So you don't have to line it up like absolutely 100% perfect. If it's like, 99% perfect, it'll still catch, um, which I like that. It's um, nice design. So let's put this thing back in. And we've got, we've got button recognition, so we're good to go. Send that back in. And uh, some blade in here. And the, actually, the um, the way he did this um, is really nice because so, this has, for the size of the of the hilt, this has a really nice blade insertion depth. Um, this has at least that much. So we're talking at least more than an inch of blade insertion depth, which for this hilt is great. Um, 
So for a 28 inch blade, having, you know, one to one and a half inches of, of blade insertion depth, that's, um, that's a pretty sturdy ratio. Gonna get, um, and then this, our retention screw is a, it's an M1.5 and it's 1.5 size, this retention screw right here. much louder than I thought it was going to be. So as you can tell, so given where the button placements are, you can kind of sort of hold it okay on the bottom end. I mean, you're, you know, it doesn't, your hand doesn't get full coverage, but you can definitely hold it. gripping it this way with my thumb on top right there and then that way if I want to hit the off it's an easy it's an easy switch pretty much with all two button setups you need two hands for that lightning block Yeah, this is a really, really nice job, Matt. Thank you. Um, and I, I think uh, I think I'm gonna try my hand at doing a couple of uh, blade style demos with this thing. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, great install. Um, this this thing is uh, well, actually, I gotta re I have to remember. So with this one, because the chassis pulls out, it's it, it's all the way from bottom to top with the pins. This saber I need to remember to take the blade out first before I pop the chassis out. I should probably do that with all of my sabers anyway, but with some sabers where you have two pieces where the, the pin set up top is separate from the rest of the chassis, I don't always do that. But with this one, I got to remember, take the blade out before you take the chassis out. Um, also, what I was going to say is... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, this this will be fun doing a couple of blade style demos with this thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so you know, easy to easy to remove and access to the board for all kinds of flashing, uploading, changing configs. Um, easy access to change the battery, and he actually and he has a a side uh, a little slat up top here so. If it's too hard to pull it out this way, you know, a lot of times I love this Lego tool. If y'all don't have one, I suggest trying to find one. This thing is really good for popping out batteries that are seated really tightly. You want tight, tightly seated batteries, but it's nice having a non-metallic but yet very strong Lego piece for doing this. So it's just like a, I can just pop it out this way, just how I usually do it. This is sort of similar to the way um, LGT cores um, look with their batteries. But, uh, yeah, so it's very, very nice. Um, and again, you know, I like, 
I like the way these um, these connection these connection connecting pads. I like that they're um, sort of placed in a wide surface here, so that when you if if you align it even a little offset, it'll still it'll still hit. Um, and I'm looking at the switches from inside here, and the switches you know are are fairly they're wide enough so they'll catch on the edge of these even if it's slightly offset so um, nice design I like this a lot so anyway thanks for watching folks this is the uh, CC Sabres Grandmaster with uh, Profi 2.2 and NeoPixel with um, I'm not sure what pin set he's using in here this might be stock pin set I'm not sure um, but uh, this is a great build by Matt over at uh, Babu Sabres and more. Um, he also he also did the blade as well. So uh, cool. Well, may the force be with you all. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you on the next one. So my next part two video will be with the um, the Obi Wan that I got. Um, but I want to that one's going to be a little bit longer because it's a little bit more intricate of a saber. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit more time um, going through that one. All right. Take care, y'all.